Welcome back to my channel everyone. Street Tips here. Here we are back at the silver cell. I just wanted to show you what the uh, voltage and the amps are looking like right now. And what I've done is I've uh, created a little strap to uh, replace the wiring harness that I have on the silver cell. I just made this out of a strip of copper. It's got a brass wing nut and a bolt there. And I've got a stainless steel hose clamp here. What I'll do is I'll clamp this onto the outside of my stainless steel bowl. Voltage and amps up here, 3.7 volts, 2.2 amps. And now what I'll do is I'm gonna take the readings with the wires that we have on there right now. See what kind of voltage we're getting, see what kind of resistance is being created by these uh, inferior clips here. If you look at the clip, I'm getting 3.7 volts, but when I move down here to the bowl, I'm only getting about 3.4 volts. And that's due to these clips not making good contact on this stainless steel bowl. All right, to do the reconfiguration, modification, turn the power supply off. I'm disconnecting the negative side lead that goes down to the silver cell. Just take that right on off. These wires have copper clips. They get corroded and they don't make good contact with the bowl and I believe that's what's causing my uh, resistance problem in the cell. So we're going to take the wires off. What we'll do now is take the anode bar off and move it out of the way. Let me just move this paper up out of the way here. What I'll do is take the clamp apart and we'll fit it around the cell like so. Here's my copper strap. I fitted it to another spare bowl that I have to make sure it fits correctly. That's a brass nut and bolt. I'll get a copper one eventually, but what we'll do is just slip this underneath the clamp here. And now I'll just slowly tighten this screw until I get the clamp tight to hold the copper strap tightly to the bowl. This is some number 10 gauge wire that I bought at a yard sale for two bucks. Guy said he used it for ground wire. It's green and I'm sure there's gonna be people that will gig me on having green for both wires, but that's uh, all we got to work with right now. I've made a loop here on the negative side of the power supply. So we're gonna connect that to the power supply nice and tight. Now what we'll do is bear the end of this wire, the other end of it here, and uh, form a little loop down here for the connection to go to the, uh, the new copper strap that we just installed. I'll get some washers and a copper bolt and wing nut when I uh, have time. This is all I could find at Ace Hardware. This should work for now. 
Now we'll attach the anode side, the anode connection to the positive side of the power supply. This is day seven. And uh, here's a look at the pure silver crystal. Seven days growth. And what I've noticed is now that the cell is making more heat, it uh, needs more electrolyte added due to evaporation. So that's what I'm adding right now is some more electrolyte. There's about 100 grams of silver dissolved in this solution I'm pouring in. I just added about 150 milliliters to get the electrolyte level back up. We're going to cover up the opening here. And we're going to add some more silver crystal to the anode basket. It's consuming it very fast. Now just with the modification of just the anode bar and I'm pretty sure when we get the uh, when we get the cathode side up and running here in a minute it'll start consuming it even faster now that we've got all those connections uh, squared away got straight wires running to both of these now no intermediary con connections to deal with or get corrosion in I'm going to install the anode bar now into the basket and I've got this set up so it puts a little bit of a downward force on it. Here we go, let's try energizing the power supply, see what we get now. I'm going to turn this down to 3.5. And now let's see what we get down here at the cell. All right, one lead on the anode, the other on the bowl. And we get exactly 3.5, just like we have adjusted up on the power supply, which means we've eliminated all of the resistance now we've taken all the uh, points that become that can become corroded and we've eliminated them and now we got the exact current that we're supposed to have right at the bowl so this uh, new configuration should uh, serve us well I'm liking this new configuration already. It's much simpler. And cleaner. So I think we're going to get some nice high purity. Double refined pure silver crystal out of this. In the next couple of days. Alright that will conclude the video. Thanks for watching.